Hey guys, welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today I'll be doing the part two filming locations for the movie Mischief. I'm currently down here in Nelsonville. I have a couple locations that I missed in my first video and you guys requested that I do a part two. So without further ado, let's check out the locations that I missed. Okay, so here I am on the corner of Clinton and Oak Street. You guys wanted this location. This is the location of the bike scene where Jonathan and Gene are standing right here and Gene is telling Jonathan he needs to impress Marilyn. So Gene pushes Jonathan down the street, down the hill. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's because I am, because I just walked up that hill and it's actually really steep. Let's take a closer look. All right, as you can see, the corner of Clinton and Oak. Part of the wall, cement wall, is still kind of here after all these years since the 80s. They would have been standing right here and this is the view that jonathan and gene would have been looking down this road it is actually really steep so we're gonna start walking down this road here and i'm gonna show you where jonathan wrecks his bike at And this right here is Elizabeth Street. As Jonathan was passing this street, there would have been a car about halfway down that backfires and makes Jonathan look that way. And then he ends up coming right down here. And wrecking into a car right about here on this sidewalk in front of this house. I'm gonna take a look back up top of the hill here. Look at that. Wow. That is definitely a hike. So yeah, right here on the sidewalk is where Jonathan wrecked and he goes to pull the handkerchief out of his pants and Marilyn stops and asks if he's okay. She starts wiping the blood off of his lip. Than it was. And then he grabs her breast. <laughs> Jonathan trying to cop a feel. How funny. All right, so you guys wanted to know where Marilyn's house is. Um, it's all the way in Canal Winchester, so I have to drive there. You would think it would be right here in town, but actually it's not. It's actually a couple blocks over from Gene, Jonathan, and Bunny's house. So, let's head out to Canal Winchester. All right, so here we are at the other location. You guys wanted to know where Marilyn lived, and you know the scene where Marilyn and Jonathan get freaky deaky. I'm gonna show you Marilyn's house and see if it's changed in the last 30 some years. Let's take a look. All right, so here it is. This is Marilyn's house. From the movie, exterior shots and interior shots were both filmed here. Now, the windows up on the second floor, the one to the left, is the one that Jonathan snuck out after him and Marilyn, you know, did the you-know-what. Now, it's obviously been over 30-some years, so it has changed since then. Uh, looks like it has been repainted. Here's a better view of the front of the house. Now, in the movie, there was a swing on the porch to the left, and it looks like there's one still there. I don't know if it's the same exact one from the movie, but that's where Jonathan and Marilyn would have been on the swing, making out, then they eventually uh, <laughs> fall over. Yeah, how cool is this? This is Marilyn's house. That window, there to the left, that's the window. And one sure way I knew that this was the location was this house to the right there's a very distinct awning right here to the right it goes down and then it goes to the left 
That can be seen very briefly in one of the shots as Jonathan comes out of the window, jumps down the uh, side of the house there, and he runs off in this direction. So this scene is interesting. This scene in the movie is where it's sort of like a double date with uh, Bunny and Jean and Jonathan and Marilyn. They come out to this horse park. Well, I think it's a horse park, or it might be one of their houses, but I believe it's just like a horse park or something. But anyway, it shows this barn in the background. Now, you see, you see the car drive up. Oh, by the way, this is at the Rock Mill Covered Bridge in Bloom, Ohio. So, in the movie, they drive up. Let's see if I can point it out. There's a road right there. They drive up that road. They go over the hill. And you see this barn in the background. And they start riding horses. And as they're riding horses, they're riding horses over that hill. Because you can see these three little... Uh, chimney looking things on top of the barn on the roof you can see those <laughs> i'm not sure where they parked that where jonathan parked his car but it then leads into the scene where him and marilyn are in the car getting a little frisky if you know what i mean so in the scene where jonathan and marilyn are getting hot and heavy in the car i realized that it was filmed behind this barn that's behind me there's a scene where it shows them driving out from the driveway Well, I can't get back there because it's on someone's property. And I don't want to trespass. I try to be respectful with what I do. So I'm sorry that I couldn't get to that. But that is where they filmed this scene. Behind that barn. I don't know. I can't get back there. But still cool though, nonetheless. Yeah, this is where Gene worked. And the gas pumps would have been right about here. And then towards the end of the movie. Uh... Kenny and his gang rolls up right here and Gene pumps the gas for him. So towards the end of the movie, back at the Rock Mill Covered Bridge where uh, Gene is like passed out on the ground and Jonathan goes to get Bunny to come talk to him. He shows up, he's parked or he has Bunny on the bike and they come down this hill right here and they go across the bridge and they stop right about there looks like right about there Jonathan parks the bike and then Bunny comes up and talks to Gene and he's passed out probably right about here maybe on the ground I don't know Gene was passed out right there <laughs> and uh, Jonathan is just chilling on his bike right here in the background he's like so this leads towards the end of the movie and uh, Gene convinces Bunny to leave with him because there's nothing else left in this town Nelsonville and uh, he offers Jonathan to ride back into town he declines and he heads back to the diner but yeah this is towards the end of the movie and uh, it's a nice little it's actually a park now which is kind of odd um, obviously the bridge hasn't changed too much since the movie other than maybe it looks like they redid the roof I don't know and they added a giant pole right here and uh, it looks it's now a park that you can actually come and sit here with people I mean obviously it's on someone's property because there's a house right there it's really nice that they did a uh, that they redid this area where people can come and just relax because actually there's a parking lot right here it's I don't know if it's because they did it for the movie and they wanted to have people come out and just hang out or I don't know there's there's something on this sign it's just a Fairfield County Park here take a look at this 
This place was built in 1824. Wow. So yeah, this is very interesting. Obviously the place is very old. Both barns are still here. There's a house way up there. We're gonna take a look over here and see what, uh, see what they got going on over here. Oh my God, I hate snow. I hate it. It's like someone's already been here. We took a look around. There's feet prints everywhere. Oh wow, look at this. really cool so we're towards the end of the movie and this is where uh, Jonathan shows back up to the diner and Kenny is outside up to no good as usual and uh, Kenny tells Jonathan that if he ever sees Gene again that he's looking for him this is where that took place, the diner, right there. So you remember in the beginning of the movie where Jonathan wrecked his car into the uh, fire hydrant? Well, here it is at the end of the movie where Jonathan is chasing Kenny through town and Kenny just so happens to hit the same fire hydrant. Right there. Talk about karma, Kenny. You got what you deserved. Yep, Kenny hits the same fire hydrant. Right there. Coming down from the uh, public square right in town. So after Jonathan wrecks Kenny's car into the fire hydrant, he heads back to the diner and Rosalie stops him and she's like, hey, I finally got my um, braces off. And he's like, you know what, Rosalie? How about I take you out on Saturday night? People give me weird looks but yeah he's like how about I take you out on Saturday night she says yes he gets in his car and he drives off and that my friends is the end of the movie all right that's gonna be a wrap on the filming locations for the movie mischief this has been a lot of fun this movie was basically filmed just about an hour from my house which is not too far to get to but uh Nelsonville is such a quaint little town I highly recommend checking it out if you ever have the chance Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you next time on Jordan's Film Quest.